According to the CDC, autism spectrum disorder diagnosis has been on the rise for years. It now affects one in every 44 children. A disruption in interactions and in speech and language uh, that have fairly well-defined criteria. And when Lee Health pediatric geneticist Dr. Jeffrey Innes says autism can look different for everyone. Some we call high-functioning autism, all the way to some patients that are uh, withdrawn, don't interact with anyone, don't speak, and have a very difficult time uh, uh, negotiating um, interactions. While a developmental behavioral pediatrician typically makes that diagnosis, his goal is to try and figure out what the genetic basis of it may be. So we have well over uh, 200 different genes that we know uh, are involved in the generation of autism. Dr. Ennis says if he's able to determine the genes that cause autism in a child, it's possible to explain the inheritance pattern. Depending on what he finds. Parents may have uh, the ability to check in a pregnancy subsequently, if they wish, prenatally to determine whether or not a uh, conceptus or a child that they have uh, that is developing uh, in the womb is uh, potentially affected by those variants within the gene. Your child's pediatrician will be able to refer you to a geneticist if one was needed for their condition. For Lee Health, I'm Devin Turk.